welcome to the channel for the first time viewers welcome back from my existing subscribers so this i'm a little shaky still um i got some b-roll footage of this controller in action and i actually won a game of warzone with it so and i am absolute utter garbage on controller so i want to give you all my impressions and just pretty much share what i think about the dual sense edge overall what i like about it what i don't like about it and who i think this controller might be for so hopefully y'all get some value out of this video this is just a quick picture i snapped up outside and again i got some b-roll footage so let's go ahead and we'll talk about this software which is pretty straightforward and simple um there was nothing crazy to it let me uh, go ahead and throw up the video here that i took and we'll kind of talk through what options you have so when you first launch your playstation and you connect the controller via usb you get a pop-up menu but you can also find it through your settings so you go to settings you go to accessories and from there you'll see a, du a dual sense edge wireless uh, kind of controller section uh, from there you can customize your profiles here i just have a quick one um, and essentially what you could do is you can have three different profiles on top of the default uh, preloaded and the two little tabs at the bottom of your function um, so you do function and triangle function and X or cross and it lets you kind of switch out your profiles and here you can kind of select what that those function buttons do um, again it's not rocket science it's pretty simple the Xbox app is a lot better to me when you have an elite controller but that's just my personal opinion on it when we talk about what's in the actual box you get a locking mechanism, the case itself, the, the package, um, the, or the case is actually a carrying case. So it kind of doubles as a protective case. I don't like that the, the front part is kind of that matte, or not matte, it's a glossy finish. So you get a lot of fingerprints on it. Um, but the touchpad is really cool because you get all those PlayStation logos. It's really small, but it's a cool little attention to detail thing. Um, so here I'm gonna throw on the a couple extra pictures throughout while I talk, but then I'll throw on the Warzone gameplay. Um, but again, in the box you get a little attachment that locks the USB cable. So if you're gonna use the controller in a wired state, then you have that. You don't have to worry about it, you know, detaching and things like that. Um, I ended up just using one of the cables I have. I have no intentions of playing competitively with a controller. I play mouse and keyboard, so. I think for, for folks that are kind of like me, the 8-bit DO Ultimate Bluetooth on PC is probably the best controller, right? So it's got the Hall Effect joysticks, which means no stick drift, um, and you don't really have to worry about stuff like that, whereas you do have to worry, even with this $200 controller, you still have to worry about stick drift. Now, the one cool thing I will say is that you can replace the joystick modules, which is really the only reason why I still got it, even though it can exhibit stick drifts mine have not but what i noticed is i took my ps5 on vacation to new york um for like a week and during that week i was playing warzone i started to get decent half decent with the uh, controller aim assist is broken broken um but i started to get half decent and then the left joystick just started drifting because clicking in the sprint so much it just it takes a toll on the joysticks so they're just trash uh, they're not good products as far as the joysticks that they um that they incorporate with their base controllers and even this controller probably <clears throat> because the hall effect ones they just they they're magnetized so they don't have that stick drift but that's the the joystick issues that you can't really avoid now what else you get in the box is kind of like a dome back piece or the paddle back piece um, and that's so that you can actually, you know, I map mine to jump and slide. I'm not the best at using them, but you know, I just threw them on there. The, the grips feel amazing on the sides. Um, and then, so that just kind of helps out a little bit as far as having the, the jump. So I can still keep my thumbs on the right stick and still look around. So to me, that's a big deal. And if you really don't use them, you could look at this something like the L3, right? So you could look at something like, okay, I don't want my controller to have stick drift, so let me map the sprint button to one of these paddles so I can do my tack sprints a little faster. I'm okay hitting circle to slide, so let me hit you know the left paddle to be able to, to sprint. So that's something that could possibly save you from that stick drift issue. Because what I've noticed, again, is clicking the, the sprints. So Call of Duty is really the game that does it for me. Um, now, the, the rumbles, they feel really good. Uh, it feels premium. 
the controller itself does feel premium so it's by no means just a below average controller like even compared to the 8-bit Theo that I like better um, that controller feels a little bit more plasticky this has that, that rubberized grip on the back which makes it feel more premium it's got a little bit of weight to it I did throw my my uh, joysticks that I had right on there they fit no problem they have a tactile feel on the R2 and the L2 uh, so you kind of have a little bit more grip. Not that you should be like sliding off or anything like that. But if you are one that has sweaty hands, um, you know, this will be a, a decent little upgrade for you. You also can choose how far down you want the right and left uh, or really L2 and R2 to go. I'm, I'm, I'm an Xbox guy, so <laughs> um, you could choose that. But I chose to keep it just default because I don't play a lot of Call of Duty on it. I play it on PC. So the games I do play are like 2K and why would I want my turbo or my sprint to go like half, right? And Madden is something I've been playing on console until they started releasing the next gen version on PC. So it's significantly better there. Um, so I just play it there as well. But the games that I can't get on PC like Ghost of Tsushima, Spider-Man 2, all those games I've been playing with this controller. And again, it's a, it's a A1 stellar controller. And if you're somebody that obviously you're just playing on console and you have no intentions of getting on PC, this is, I would say, a worthwhile purchase um, if you play a lot. If you're just a casual gamer, this is a nice to have. You don't by any means need it. So that's just my, my overall take on it. Um, and like I said, there's nothing really that wowed me about this controller. Um, the build quality is solid. It's really good. I can, you know, commend them for that. Um, the software is very basic, so like I said, the Xbox controller is significantly, um, the Elite controller is a significantly better experience, although switching profiles is pretty easy on this, so that's, that's another plus. The fact that it didn't put Hall Effect sticks was kind of disappointing, and I don't know why that decision was made. And for those of you that don't know Hall Effect, like I said earlier, it's, um, it's like magnets, right? So underneath your joystick is kind of like a little mechanism and they tend to just stop working properly on um, the Nintendo switch was bad for that the ps5 controller is bad for that the Xbox controller is bad too um, but it is I guess as bad as the others the the sticks they use I think I forget what it's called I almost wanted to say Cali sticks but that's Call of Duty <laughs> but anyways um, that was like the issues with with those um, those those uh, joysticks and they t they use the same one but they do have that twenty dollar module that i mean it's always out of stock but they have that twenty dollar module you can slide out your your stick that has stick drift and then slide in another one and that's why i liked it back in the day i liked the um, the what was it it wasn't control freak it was the strike pack because you could just go get another controller at walmart and then you had a pretty much a scuff again so being able to do something like that on the fly, not wait a month, I think has its own set of benefits, especially if you use this controller heavy and it becomes like your your daily driver for everything you do, right? So if you're a big time gamer or you play competitively, you know, you gotta have your equipment working. So being able to go get it and fix it yourself is, a, um, is another net win. So let me know what y'all think about this controller overall in the, in the comment section, if it's something that you're interested in getting. I'll drop a link, an affiliate link that will support the channel. So it gives a little referral link if my video is the reason you decided to buy. Um, but again, I would recommend it, but it's it's going to be more so for people that take gaming a little bit more seriously. If you're just more casual, um, this 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 probably better options for you, man. So and, and you could just get, get the regular controller, the regular PS5 controller and be just as happy. Um, but again, if you take gaming a little bit more seriously, you're a little bit more competitive and console is your main platform or PS5 is your main platform, then I could definitely see this being a good, a good pickup and a good selection overall. So let me know if y'all got any questions. Again, this isn't the most in-depth review. There's cats that are out here like tearing down the controller, looking all the way in the inside. I'm not that guy, man. I got this thing because I was like, you know, I'm not trying to spend another 80 bucks just for it to start doing stick drift in a couple months again. So. I was like, let me try to see what I could get. And as far as Hall Effect, there's there was one. It was like uh, the PD something, PDP at Best Buy. It's like 180 bucks. 
And then there was a dual sense that didn't have that, so I was like, man, I don't even like the look of the other one to be spending 180 bucks. So that's kind of what urged me and kind of nudged me towards this one. And if I could, I would just rock that, whatchamacallit, the 8 bit DO. Because that one has two bumpers on the back. Um, I have never, I won't ever use this on PC. This is not, this is strictly a really nice controller for my PS5. So, <laughs> yeah. But on the 8 bit DO, you got two paddles on the back. You get really good haptics. So it like feels really good when, um, whenever you're, you know, pulling the trigger or whenever you're getting hit by something, the vibration motors feel really good. And then the, uh, the last piece is that they have Hall Effect stick. So I've, I've even played Call of Duty with, with those just to do a, um, a aim assist type of video. I ended up scrapping it, but I think I got like 10 kills. Uh, and even on this game, I ended up with eight, yeah, eight kills and a win, which is kind of crazy. And I'm, again, I'm not good at controller anymore. I used to play competitively, but it's just aim assist is broken. Like some of these guys on PC, I would have had to use my mouse and stay on them. But with this, I could barely move and I just <laughs> pull down L2, pull down R2 and like move the right joystick just like a millimeter and they were gone. They just toast and gone. All right, y'all, I'm gonna cut the video off from here and um, I'll catch y'all on the flip. Be easy.